In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the memory, hard disk and the Wi-Fi card in a HP ProBook 430G2. So first flip over the laptop and remove the battery. Just push in the two clips and out it comes. And to remove the maintenance cover just remove one, two screws then push the cover back make sure you've pushed it back as far as it will go before lifting the cover because underneath there are some little clips and if you haven't got it pushed back far enough they can be very easily snapped off ok first look at the memory and just as most laptops just pull the two clips out and pull the memory out and put it back in, just make sure you line up the slot to the pin in the memory slot. Push it in, push down and you'll hear the click. And you see there's two memory slots so you can add extra to the 4 gig that's usually in it. Next, removing the hard disk, there are just four screws holding it in, one, two, three, four. So undo those and unlike the cover screws these do actually come away. So a magnetic screwdriver is pretty handy for this. Okay with the last screw out just use the tab and pull it towards the side of the laptop and just lift it out. So when you take it out you'll see there's the caddy on the SSD and there's four screws holding it in just two on either side so if you want to replace the SSD just take the screws out put a new disc in and put the screws back in then set it back in to the hard disk area again grab the tab push it back into place and then replace the four screws holding the caddy in. Okay, the final thing for replacing the cover is the Wi-Fi card. So you'll see there's two cables for the antennas. So we just unclip them, just move them out of the way, and there's two screws holding the card in. So we undo those and when you undo the second one the card should pop up out of its position and then it's just a matter of sliding it out of the slot and to replace it again just like the memory just make sure the little notch is lined up with the pin in the slot push it back in and you'll see it pops up so there's no clip in here like the memory so grab the first screw just hold the card down and put the first screw in then the second screw and then just push the antenna clips or the connectors back into place so just push the antenna clips back into place and don't push too hard because they can be damaged reasonably easily so if they're not going on just take them off again realign them and push it back in then to put the case back on, or the cover, just set it on the back, slide it back into place and tighten two screws. Replace the battery and that's it finished. 
So thanks for watching and check back again. We'll be putting up more videos soon.